G'day Wester here. Okay, we're doing a GT2 belt tensioning tool tutorial. Um, so this is a tool that I've made based off the GitHub uh, repository. Um, so basically in the instructions it tells you to back uh, to basically screw this tensioning screw till it's flush with the end here. And then this tool, um, so this is a piece of piano wire which comes with the kit. You basically push it through this hole and get it out that hole and then get it flush. And that's designed to go over, the, over here, go on this one. In between the two, push this in. And that tension is set. So we need to achieve 1.9 on this gauge, so, and it's currently at 2.5. So to get that down, we need to screw this in. It goes and it's going in quite a way. I'm probably going five or six, seven turns. Get it to the 1.9. Give it a couple of pumps. Okay, we're getting close. So we'll screw it in another turn. And it's a little bit much, so I'll come out half a turn. And then about a quarter of a turn here. There we go. So that's sitting at 1.9 on the scale. Zero's here, three's here, one, two, and that's looking pretty good. So once that's on, this here you can actually, um, when you finish using the gauge for the tensioning, you can actually put this in here by sticking it through this little gap here, and then setting it in here, and that way you don't lose your calibrating tool. But when you're using it, obviously you take that off, <coughs> and just put it down here. So this, the, the tuning of the belts is basically set up when it's cold. So I will basically get my tablet here, which is connected to the unit. And I'm going to do a, a, a home wall. It's not. So it's going to do a home wall now. So everything's cold. So first thing I want to do is bring the um, belts to 150 from the front. So zero is the front. So we're just going to put in 150 for the Y and 150 for the X. And we're going to put in 150, oops, 150 for the Z, so that'll be able to give us 150 mil of measurement here. So uh, 150, so it's going to bring the bed up 150. Okay, so that's given us 150 mil in this section here of the belt. Uh, that's 150 up from the bed, sorry. So I need to come up, um, I need to come up to three and uh, I need to actually come up a little bit more. So I'll try coming up to 200. It's actually not that critical with these. So anyway, what we do here is with the gauge, we're on the um, A and B belts, or X and Y, we're looking at trying to achieve between 1.8 and 2.2 .2 on the gauge. So you just basically stick it in there. And we've got 
two on there and on this side we've got two on that side as well so I've actually got this tune pretty good so that's that's within tolerance so 1.8 to 2.2 and on the Z belts, you need to have it at um, two point uh, one sec. I'll just double check. So in the manual, it tells you the tensions down here. So on the A and B belts, we've got tension on the meter, one point eight to two point two, and on the four on two point four and micron Z, uh, it's two point five to two point eight on the actual gauge so this one here we'll basically just put in here like this and I've got 2.8 turn the gauge over and then do the same on this one here on this side not sure if you'll be able to see that but just put it on here 2.8 and then go to the back ones it's hard to see because it's uh, so basically the same thing at the back go right to the back put your gauge in and we've got uh, one 2.6 which is within tolerance. You don't have to have them all exactly the same, but as long as it's within that tolerance. And this one here is 2.8. So that's so so if it was out, you'd have to adjust the tension on the belts. But these are pretty good, so I'm not going to play with it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, so that's uh, the basics of how you adjust your belts with this fantastic um, GT2 belt adjustment tool. Cheers, we'll see you over and out.